Ladies and gentlemen, hello! Welcome back! My name, of course, is Over the Potato. This is Democracy 4. We are continuing the Amish takeover. That's right. 100% religious, 100% farmers. Come at me. We're gonna do it, and maybe we'll do it in this episode. Certainly, we might get some of the way there. Anyway, uh, we've just come out uh, of an election. We did pretty darn well, if I do say so myself. Our GDP is in a very, very, very weirdly comfortable position at this moment in time, which is just grand. Uh, it's really, really good. Uh, we do have a situation imminent uh, that is caused mostly by the fact that we have such a large percentage of farmers. Uh, but that's fine. There's a little bit of a water shortage, but we'll see if we can try and address that. Anyway, how's the threat assessment looking? The threat assessment is looking pretty darn good. Pretty darn good. Uh, the, the bank balance is also looking pretty darn good. The debt to GDP ratio is in a really, really nice place, but it's not quite up to the AAA credit rating. But, uh, but we're getting there. Environmental protests look to be on the downward trend, but not quite ended. Respiratory disease still a little bit, uh, a little bit high. Hospital overcrowding is slowly but surely coming down after that, uh, after that deadly virus outbreak has started to reduce healthcare demand. So that's good. What else have we got? Obesity. Uh, I think that we're going to introduce a junk food tax at some point. In fact, is now maybe a good point to introduce a junk food tax? I feel like it absolutely might be. Yeah, you know what? Either health food subsidies or uh, or a junk food tax would be pretty darn good. Let's introduce let's introduce a junk food tax. Sure, what the heck? Let's absolutely absolutely destroy. Okay, we're gonna decrease everyone's income by about forty bucks. I think that I can just about tolerate that. Anyway, obesity is going to get decimated because of that junk food tax. That is pretty darn good. What else do we want to do? What else do we want to do? Well, we want to see if we can try and increase membership as well. I tell you what, seventy-five percent is not bad from just secularity of education and also public religious broadcasts. Yeah, that's pretty. That's pretty darn. That's pretty darn good, if I do say so myself. There's nothing that I really want to change at this moment in time. And also this music loop is kind of driving me a little bit crazy, but the thing is that the music loop always happens when you win an election, or when you reload the game. And I think it's just, just playing in the background at the moment. Anyway, let's relax housing laws. Ooh, farmers hate it. Farmers, farmers absolutely hate it. What do farmers think of me, actually? They don't hate me. They don't hate me at all. They do not hate me at all. Plant-based diets. We need to try and reduce the plant-based diets as much as we possibly can. So the food tax is not going to be, is not going to be helping with that. There we go. The music, the music loop is finally ended, and we're back to a little bit more of a chilled vibe, which is great. Uh, water shortage has ended. That's going to increase the food price yet more, and that's also going to drive up plant-based diets even more. Hmm, we're gonna need to we're gonna need to take this into our own hands. We need to. We need to. We need to cancel this policy, actually. We need to cancel this policy just straight up. The Food Standards Agency, we we need to we need to make sure that we have no food standards. That's very, very important. A massive, massive, massive budget surplus is actually pretty incredible given the circumstances. Unemployment has increased to new heights, but I think that we can just about tolerate that, to be honest. We can just about tolerate that. Definitely for the short term, we can tolerate that. GDP looks to be increasing. GDP looks to be increasing. Oh, by the way, um, thank you very much to everyone who left a comment uh, on the last video. I, I do indeed read them all. I try to respond to as many as I possibly can. Uh, one thing that we should probably talk about is normalization. So I kind of alluded to this uh, a little bit in the last episode, but I've actually gone away and done some research and sort of found out exactly how it works, or at least more how it works. Uh, GDP GDP will now sort of normalize between, I don't know, like 80% and 20%, and it is a lot more challenging to get it up to the very max level or down to the very, uh, the very bottom level. And uh, yeah, we just have to be aware of that going forward. We just have to be aware of that. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to make sure that we are able to balance the books at a lower level of GDP. So maybe we need to make sure that the books are able to be balanced over here, because it's pretty unlikely that we're ever gonna be able to get our GDP up to the to the very max. It's just something to something to consider going forward. You know, uh, the other comment that I uh, that I did indeed that I did indeed enjoy was public religious broadcasts require 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 speakers. Um, or at least, theoretically, they, they require speakers. Dedicated channels. Dedicated religious broadcasting channels. 
This is maybe a little bit technologically advanced for a uh, for a simple farmer like myself. However, I think you know the good outweighs the bad. We're gonna we're gonna just leave this we're gonna leave this policy on for a little while. Maybe until a time where we don't actually need it. But there we go. Anyway, membership of the farming group, plant based diets. We need to we need to get we need to get more. We need to get more. We need to get more, 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 more. Uh, also, environmentalist membership. I guess the fewer environmentalists there are, the fewer people taking up plant-based diets, I guess, maybe? I, I don't really know. Uh, I've got to assume that that's the case. How's obesity looking? Obesity is hopefully gonna... Hopefully gonna start taking effect in a major, major way. Uh, right, okay, so I think that we just want to continue to just, like, roll out policies. Roll out policies that are that are in our interest, and also just continue to decrease policies that are in everyone else's interest. Secularity of education, it would actually cost us, what, 13, 13 political capital pretty much to bump that down, to bump that down to the bottom there? I think we'll do that. That's gonna upset liberals a lot, but to be honest, I feel like we can just, I feel like we can just try and get rid of a policy that liberals like. Death penalty, for example. Yeah, we need to cancel the death penalty. We need to cancel the death penalty. But frankly, I don't think that that's going to be happening anytime soon. I don't even think it's possible to do at this moment in time. The The simple fact of the matter is that we simply don't have that many problems. The water shortage is a big one, though. The water shortage is definitely a big one. I wonder, I wonder, I wonder. Is there any policy that we can introduce right now that would make an impact on the water policy? City farms. City farms is a good policy to get. I know it doesn't do anything for the water shortage because, look, I I have a short attention span. What can you do? Not very much about it. Can't can't do much about my short attention span. It's just the way that it is. I I don't think that there is anything that we can do about the water the water issue apart from apart from apart from apart from. This would exacerbate the water shortage. However, how? Ever. It would only exacerbate the water shortage at 0.5, at 0.5%. I believe at uh, 0.5% of the policy implementation uh, implemented. However, I think that it, we would actually be able to decrease the water shortage if we either fully fund it or fully don't fund the state water company, if that makes sense. Uh, yeah, we can probably introduce this. The one policy that I know that does, that does impact the water shortage is the Climate Change Adaption Fund. And honestly... That might just be that might just be what we're after, to be honest. I don't think that there is anything else that can really that can really cut it. Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. We also want to close all airports, but that costs forty political capital, so we're we're a little ways off that at this moment in time. Reforestation. Reforestation is something that we definitely want to introduce. Let's introduce the state water company. Cost to nationalize 172 billion. Yeah, you know what? Screw it. I, I don't really think that I've got any I don't really think that I've got any qualms about nationalizing the water industry, to be honest. That's also going to reduce unemployment by uh, by quite a by quite a margin. So you know what? Let's do it. It's gonna cost us 30 billion, not to mention the fact that we're gonna take on, you know, 172 billion of uh, of debt in order to in order to nationalize that. I think that that's entirely reasonable, to be honest. How's the threat assessment looking? The threat assessment is in a good place. Threat assessment is definitely in a good place. Very, very happy with that. Toxic waste dump. I mean, we prevent construction of the toxic waste dump. No big deal there. No big deal there at all. That is completely fine. Patriots still really dislike me. Membership of the Patriots is holding roughly steady. Holding roughly steady. The space program honestly needs to get cancelled. We need to. We need to remove that. Pollution is is back, and it's back with a vengeance, mostly because of our high GDP, and also because of the condition of the environment, which is which is pretty awful. Uh, we need to work on the environment. We need to work on the environment in a major way. Foreign neighbor nuclear missile test. Patriots really, really hate that, but hey-ho. Unemployment is down. Correspondingly, health is down because of the pollution, so... That also needs to get short, uh, sorted. How is the water shortage looking? The water shortage is actually looking fairly respectable. I think we've pretty much destroyed it. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So that's going to save us another 1.76 billion, which is, you know, pocket change. But that's fine. That's absolutely fine. 
Religious people, religious people, we are up to 79%. 79%, that is brilliant. And secularity of education has still got a long way to go before it's fully rolled out across schools everywhere. That's what we like to see. Right. Uh, childcare provision. There was a comment about childcare provision, how it is uh, sort of universally popular. Everyone likes childcare provision apart from capitalists. It's pretty good, actually. I, I don't think that we really want to roll it out, though. I, I don't really think that we need to. What I do want to do... Yeah, I want to start introducing more policies like this. So organic farming subsidy, for example, pretty much does exactly what it says on the tin. Um, and it gives a whole bunch of money to farmers. Environmentalists like it. Obesity decreases. Costs us $6 billion, But, I mean, to be honest, that's that's fine. I can just about... I can just about tolerate that. Rent controls. I don't think that farmers or religious people as a whole have a specific view on rent controls. Tobacco awareness campaign and the alcohol awareness campaign both seem like policies that we should introduce given that they are, you know, generally good policies. However, however, is it really that important? I don't, I don't necessarily think so. Health food subsidies. I'm so wary about increasing plant-based diets. I'm really going to I'm really going to try and uh, steer clear of that. Keep the country tidy campaign. Let's introduce the keep the country tidy campaign because we could easily we could easily benefit from a little environmental win to be honest. Healthy eating campaign again, we're not going to we're not going to deal with that. National Armed Forces Week. We got to be careful not to increase patriot membership. Bicycle subsidies as well. Honestly, bicycle subsidies? I'm I'm in on bicycle subsidies to be honest. Bikes are a nice traditional way of transport, and I will absolutely, I will absolutely have the government funding penny farthings. You know, sign me up. Sign me up to that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, the water shortage is ended. The gig economy is at risk of developing if we don't tweak, if we don't tweak things ever so slightly. If, 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 if. If the gig economy does develop, then we're going to have to tank our productivity a little bit. And we're going to have to... We're going to have to increase the labor laws to make them a little bit more balanced. We don't have to do it at this moment in time because the gig economy isn't a thing. But if it does become a thing, I will... I will absolutely... I will absolutely step up and deliver that. Right, how's the environment doing? I think the environment is, is the thing that we need to improve the most here. Air travel and car usage. How are we doing on car usage? really really bad really 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 bad we need to do way more to improve uh, or decrease car usage i i don't want to encourage the electric car transition but i think we have to we have to do we have to do something like this so car emission limits for example Massive, massive, massive improvement to the environment, but, you know, a corresponding massive increase to the electric car transition. I don't want to do that, but I have to. It also has the added benefit of decreasing car usage, which is which is pretty important for me, really, uh, in the grand scheme of things. Reforestation. Reforestation is, is great. Uh, unfortunately, though, unfortunately, only makes only makes the environmentalists happy as opposed to actually fixing the environment. Pollution is still continuing to increase, but honestly doesn't have that big of an impact outside decreasing health. Private space industry, thankfully, is going to be ending very, very shortly indeed, which is great. We ended the uncompetitive economy. It was very quiet, but it was between... It was sort of between episodes. I think it was actually on the turn that we had the, uh, the general election. So that was quite nice. Ban livestock imports. I'm going to approve the ban because this makes farmers like me. Very, very good. Thank you very much. That's my... My accumulated knowledge right there. It's it's excellent. Okay, so I'm still a little bit unpopular, but I'm I'm almost to the point where I'm almost to the point where everyone is religious. As soon as everyone is religious, we are gonna start to immediately just roll out a whole bunch of like really hyper religious policies, which are gonna go down an absolute treat because everyone is gonna be religious and therefore everyone is gonna love me. And it's great. Alright, the water shortage looks like it's gonna be it's gonna be starting up again. How... Okay, that graph is just sliding all the way up there. That's, that's fine. The environment is just so bad. The environment is just so... So flipping bad. 
You know what? Air travel? Air travel we can actually try and sort. Even if we... Even if... Even if we can't sort it directly, we can sort it indirectly. So, the airline tax. The airline tax is not the, the best way to go about doing things. We want the frequent flyer tax. That's it. So, this is what we're going to do. Air travel is way down. GDP is going to see a little bit of a decrease. Capitalists don't actually hate this, funnily enough. But that's okay. Anyway, it's going to bring in a, a heck of a lot of money. And is really going to help us, you know, just decrease decrease air travel which is really what we're after any other taxes that would really be suited to, to dealing with air travel i don't think so actually other than closing all airports which i definitely plan on which i definitely plan on doing national armed forces we, we did have that we did have that also the dea that's a brand new that's a brand new policy right there drug addiction and violent crime both uh, both decrease now unfortunately there is, uh, there is no way, there is no way that I'm going to be introducing that policy because it's just not worth it, frankly. We don't have drug addiction. We don't have any violent crime, I don't think. Yeah, we don't have any violent crime. We got a, we got a strong police force to do most of the, to do most of the crime fighting for us, which is, which is just fine. Uh, yeah, this needs to get, this needs to get absolutely, absolutely, we need to remove it so that we don't, so that we don't have so that we don't have an increase to liberal membership because liberal membership is perhaps the biggest problem that I can foresee in the future. This policy too, the Race Discrimination Act, we need to definitely definitely at least take this down to take this down to zero. Costs a lot of political capital though. We got a lot of stuff that we got a lot of stuff that costs a lot of political capital here. However, GDP is flying high, so that's great. Ban animal testing? Sure. Ban animal testing. A 2% decrease to GDP because we banned animal testing? I don't think that that's, that that's real. Enterprise investment scheme? Luke Long? No. No siree. You ain't, you ain't getting away with this. Diplomatic immunity? A foreign diplomat has fled the country after allegedly killing a citizen in a car crash? Yeah, that's a bit of a bummer. Cyber warfare? I refuse to acknowledge the cyber. I, I don't like the cyber. I refuse to acknowledge it. Intelligence services? You know what? Let's just get rid of the intelligence services. Who needs an intelligence service? A few spies? I mean, I'm fine with a few spies. Let's do that. Let's turn, let's turn the intelligence services way down. That does mean that the cyber is going to be a thing, but I, I don't really... I don't, I don't acknowledge the cyber. We don't talk about the cyber. Right, environment, again, is what we're after. Eco-home regulations, nope, we don't like, we don't like eco-homes. Rural development grants, this seems like exactly the sort of thing that we would be after. However, vertical farm subsidies as well, yep, 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 also fixes water shortage. You know what? Vertical farm subsidies in the first instance, this is what we do, this is what we fund to the absolute max. Very, very good. Farmers, membership, farmers, income, both up. Farmer happiness as well. Farmers flip and love me, to be honest. Look at the size of the membership. Look at the size of the membership of these, of these guys. Overnight, by the way, overnight, the percentage of uh, the percentage of farmers increased by about fifty percent. I tell you what, I bet that that's, uh, what is it? Vertical farm subsidies? Is that vertical farms? No, not vertical farm subsidies. Sorry, the city farms. Yeah, city farms. No, that takes 16 turns. So what the heck did we do a couple of turns ago? What the heck did we do? Organic farming subsidy? Was that it? Farmer membership? That was it. That was absolutely it. Okay, I think that's a bug, actually. Um, I think that was it. You see, it says farmer membership increase by whatever it is that was 15%. Takes zero turns. So literally, overnight... 15% of, of the population becomes farmers <laughs> because of the organic farming subsidy. It's literally just that simple. It's literally just that simple, folks, to, to make farmers in real life. All you need is a, an organic farming subsidy. If anyone, is, if anyone is wondering, that is indeed sarcasm. No, I do not think that that is ever likely to happen in real life. 
So I think that that's pretty much it's pretty much it really that we can do without like omega political capital here. Recycling, I'm I'm happy. I'm happy to recycle. It just won't be at big technological plants. It'll just be it'll be hand recycled and then we can just, you know, look at reusing our shopping bags and stuff like that. A water shortage has somehow managed to develop. Oh, yeah, silly me, I forgot. It's because we've got so many flippin' farmers in the country. That's exactly why. Uh, airport expansion, you bet your bottom dollar that, uh, that airport expansion is not gonna be happening. That is never gonna be happening on my watch. In fact, on my watch, I guarantee it, we're gonna be closing all of the flippin' airports. How is our GDP increasing? How is this happening? Unemployment is continuing to fall. We found a new party donor who is agreeable to the to the aims of the anti-tato anti-tato techno tato party. Nailed it, potato. Nailed it. All right, Luke Long is still miraculously somehow part of this uh, part of this cabinet. Look, I think it's time for a reshuffle. I think it's time for a reshuffle. There is only one way that we're going to be able to take this uh, to take this country to new heights, and that is with a reshuffle of the cabinet. Luke Long. Uh, even Brandon Moore, you're just you're just not the the chat for me anymore. Okay, so environmentalists, poor people, farmer people, socialist people, retired religious and state employees. Right, those are the people that we want in our cabinet. So you guys are out. Two point six, two point one, two point five. You're patriot and capitalist. Patriots as well are not super bad. Anyway. Basically, basically anyone that's religious. Religious capitalist, frankly, you're fine. Uh, yeah, religious capitalist. Foreign policy, you do foreign policy? You're a motorist, though. I mean, motorists, I don't think, like me. I also feel like it's a very small pool to choose from here. I should have a, I should have access to a much larger pool. All right, you know what? Screw it. We'll go for we'll go for you. Sort by loyalty again. Religious capitalist. Honestly, I'm just hoping that the religious influences are farmers liberal. Religious capitalist, environmentalist capitalist. Environmentalists do like me a lot. Let's go for you. And environmentalist capitalist. Sure. So everyone is technically green, but I mean, that's not going to last. I mean, I'm sure somebody's going to get irritated at me and it's just going to just going to be a disaster. Anyway, private space industry. How has that managed to pick up? I, I don't know. I've I've defunded as much as I possibly can my intelligence operation. Physically cannot go any lower. Take this down a little bit. In fact, we should probably just save up some political capital to cancel some of these policies. Right, okay. The gig economy is still at risk of developing. Hospital overcrowding has ended, therefore leading to a massive increase in health, which is great. Pollution still still rumbles onwards. Uh, poverty, a little bit of an increase there. Ban fracking. We're absolutely going to be banning fracking. Don't you worry about it. GDP, yeah, GDP actually increased. It's uh, it's holding steady, which is quite nice. We're slowly but surely paying down our debt. Although, to be honest, I don't really give a hoot about the debt situation. 48 political capital is our max. That's really, really, really nice. Let's cancel this policy. Excellent. Cancel this policy. That leaves us with 8 political capital. State broadcaster. I mean... I don't really think that it's worth funding, to be honest. Free school meals. Uh, yeah, I think that we should fund free school meals as much as we possibly can, actually. It's going to decrease poverty by a whole 17%. That's really, really rather impressive. Yeah, I think I think that we'll go for that. That costs three political capital as well, so that's, uh, that's not too bad. Uh, art subsidies? I mean, art subsidies... Seriously? One opera house? One opera house in an entire United States is going to be funded by our art subsidies of 2.25 billion? You're telling me that I don't have the opportunity to fund art subsidies any more than that? That seems a little bit... Seems a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it? Anyway, foreign relations, education... 
To be honest, I think that maybe we should just leave it at the lowest possible level. Mostly because we want to see if we can try and decrease liberal membership as much as we possibly can. It's very, very important that we do that. Very, very, very important that we do that. Okay, private prisons. Private prisons, we don't have any private prisons. Yeah, I guess we can scale that back down to zero. The fact of the matter is that it doesn't make a gosh darn difference, does it? Doesn't make a gosh darn difference at all. Witness protection program is frankly irrelevant in the context of our playthrough as we don't have any crime. Clean energy subsidies. Again, I would love to fund the clean energy subsidies. But I just don't think we can. I don't think we can. Not 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 with a good conscience. We can't uh, we can't deal with it. National cyber attack? I don't believe. I don't believe in the uh, the cyber. I, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't gush darn believe it. Nin minus 6% to GDP. I mean, look, that's a little setback, but frankly, we've got plenty of money to throw around. Don't even worry about it. Obesity has ended. That's excellent. Poverty, right back down. Health to new highs, which is excellent. Unemployment is up a little bit, but that's completely fine. Completely, completely, completely fine. Okay, so we're getting a little bit of political capital, a little bit more reliably which is really, really good. Environmentalists are going freaking crazy for me. Why is that the case? Religious people. Okay. Let's see what we can actually do. So let's see. What do religious people not like? The death penalty. The death penalty. Can we get 50, 54 political capital? We cannot. We need to get everyone on the cabinet on board before... before fixing that up. Uh, motorists... Motorists, motorists, motorists. What about getting rid of speed camera? Speed cameras. Yeah, I think maybe we get rid of speed cameras. Sure. Get rid of speed cameras. Get rid of speed cameras. Legal aids? It's just not that important. It's just not that important, is it? Narcotics? Narcotics need to be cranked down. Yeah, we absolutely need to do that. Okay, crank that down. 12 political capital to do that. That's completely fine. Intelligence briefing. My security effectiveness is useless. Wonderful. Right, the armed police. I feel like we should get rid of the armed police. We should just cancel the armed police outright. Also, press freedom. We can definitely step press freedom down, I think. Uh, this water shortage. Is this showing any sign of decreasing? Probably not. We, we have, a real, have a real problem. We have a real problem with farmer's happiness. Mostly because of the water shortage. Uh, we have a real problem with uh, with farmer membership in the context of the water shortage. That's why the water shortage is this crazy, by the way. Uh, because we have so many flippin' farmers that are that are farming the land and therefore using the water. Private space industry has ended. Brilliant. And GDP increased. Fantastic. Because we recovered from the cyber thing. Whatever the heck that was. Uh, debt to GDP ratio is 82%, which is actually fairly respectable. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that, given that we're in my mind anyway, running the country into the ground. Uh, but we're trying our best not to do that. The environment is still in just such a dodgy place. How's air travel looking? Air travel has seen a sustained decrease. I think that it's time to just bump up the airline tax, to be honest. Does tourism increase? Tourism doesn't actually increase air travel. I feel like the higher level of tourism you had, you have the higher level of... Um, air travel you should have. So I don't really want to torpedo tourism. I just want to torpedo air travel. But I don't think that there's anything that I'm going to be able to do that's going to have a targeted approach like that. Right. Um, so we want to have a little look. We want to have a little look. The relationship between GDP decreasing and... The airline tax increasing is linear, as you can see by this graph. This is where it's kind of useful. So, that's nice. That's really, really nice. Uh, an example of a non-linear graph, I think, income tax right here. Look at this. So, yeah, as you can see, as you can see, middle-income people will get very aggressively unhappy, and then they will max out at, like, what? What is that? Like, 75%? 67%? Or thereabouts, uh, as you can see on the graph. 
So we've got to bear that in mind when we're when we're setting the policy. But because it scales linearly, uh, the air come tax anyway. Air come tax? Air come tax? That's a that's a really really weird name for a policy. The airline tax. The airline tax effect on GDP scales linearly. So uh, it's not like if we were to max it out, it's going to absolutely torpedo our GDP. No, on the contrary, it doesn't actually matter where we move the slider to. It's going to decrease it by the the same percentage amount. So so that's fine. That's actually going to bring in 34 billion more. Of course, until the airline industry completely collapses, which will undoubtedly happen at some point. This technological advantage. Can I just, like, get rid of this technological advantage, please? Technology colleges? We need to cancel technology colleges. That's going to be done next turn. Uh, deport them. Sure. We need to appease patriots. How are patriots doing, actually? They're not, they're not in love with us, to be honest. Not as much as I would like. Cyber warfare is at risk of developing. Yep, intelligence services slowly but surely were were cranking the uh, the the operations down a little bit. Technology, look, just just let me get rid of technology. Intellectual property rights. Can I just decrease this to nothing? Can I cancel internet intellectual property rights? Yeah, I think I can. Just cancel them. Just get rid of them. If in doubt, just get rid of the policy, right? Okay, unemployment continues to fall, which is great. GDP continues to rise. How is this still so high when I'm introducing policies like the frequent flyer tax and the airline tax? How is health so high? I talked about this normalization thing. I talked about how difficult it would be to max health out. And yet here we are, sitting pretty at almost max GDP, almost max health, pretty high education. Very, 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 very good uh, threat assessment level, which is great. We need to get rid of that policy as well, the armed police policy too. Corporate manslaughter bill? I'm going to block the law. Okay. Fine. We upset liberals, uh, appease the capitalists, to be honest. I don't really think that it makes much of a difference. We are still unbelievably popular. Mostly because everyone's a farmer. <laughs> Mostly because everyone's a farmer. Can I can I have a little look? Farmer's happiness is is affected by the water shortage. You know what? For that reason, I think that it's probably worth us bringing on the where is it? Climate change adaption fund. Yeah, it costs 120 billion to fund, but I think that it's gonna be I think that it's gonna be worth it. Former spy poisoned. Ooh, spicy. Minus 14 percent opinion uh, from the patriot group. That's fine. Okay, gig economy is about to develop. We're gonna crack down on that hard. Credit rating has been upgraded, which is excellent, which means that we are going to be at new levels of wealth, which is very, very nice. 257 billion surplus right there. That's crazy. That is crazy. The global economy is, or I mean, it's doing fantastic. As I hit the mic there, it's doing fantastic. It's doing really, really well. Uh, it's not going to be doing well forever. So we need to try, we need to try and diversify our economy or something. Blah, blah, blah. Economists speak. How's pollution looking? It's looking dodgy. It's looking dodgy. Water shortage certainly shows no sign of, uh, of ending. Same with the respiratory disease nonsense. Tobacco usage? We need to crack down on the tobacco usage. We need to crack down on the tobacco usage. Crack down on the tobacco. I spent 32 political capital on that. I can't believe I spent 32 political capital improving the tobacco tax. That's ridiculous. Uh, what happens when we have a food crisis? What happens when we have a food crisis? Currency strength. Currency strength is quite high at the moment. Right. We need to we need to fix this water shortage. Right. Let's introduce the climate change adaption fund. Absolutely. Let's fund it as much as we possibly can. Fund it to the absolute max. Farmers flip and love it. So this is actually really really good. It does cost 120 billion though. So. It is a problem. It is a, a big, big problem, actually. Science funding. We need to scale this down even more, don't we? Yeah, we do. We do. Let's scale that right down to right down to the lowest point. I'm a little bit nervous, by the way. When the global economy tanks, when the global economy tanks, what the heck is going to happen to our country? I have a funny feeling that once the global economy collapses, there's going to be nothing... There's going to be nothing good left <laughs> to prop up GDP. Right, credit rating has been downgraded. I don't think that that matters. 
cyber warfare means that we're now going to see a sustained drop in our GDP. Here's the problem. I don't actually think that there is any way that we can get rid of cyber warfare. That's the thing. I, I don't think that there is any way that we can get rid of cyber warfare. So we have to we have to get used to this. We have to get used to this level of GDP. I doubt that we're going to be in a surplus next turn. Seriously, I doubt that we're going to be in a surplus situation next turn. But that is something that we're just going to have to live with, I guess. Pollution is decreasing. That's good. Environmental protests still a little bit high. How's the environment looking? It's looking just... It's so bad. It's so, so bad. The good news is, is that air travel is continuing to come down. We're making money off all of these poor people who have decided to continue to fly. We're taxing the absolute living heck out of them, which is great. The environment is literally just being... Sliding graph is literally just being torpedoed by GDP. Car usage as well. I, I have no idea how we can decrease car usage. And yet we need to. We need to find something. Clean fuel subsidy. I don't want to do the clean fuel subsidy. I think banning low MPG cars would be good. Driverless car laws as well. That would be good to implement. Limit or ban cars in cities. Yeah, that's something else that I want to introduce too. But I mean, nothing... Nothing really sticks out to me as something that we should, uh, something that we should do. Farmers have almost reached 100% of the population, and their happiness is in a pretty good place too. If we can fix this water shortage, which I would anticipate ending over the next couple of turns, it's gonna take a couple of turns for this, uh, for this water shortage nonsense to, to get rolled out. It's gonna take, what, 18 turns? Yeah, 18 turns for it to be fully deployed. So, that's gonna, that's gonna take a while before the, the effect of the Climate Change Adaption Fund is, is properly felt. We also just need to... We also just need to, to, to increase our term limit. We've got an election coming up. Things are looking pretty good. How's the threat assessment looking? The Rural Alliance? How is the Rural Alliance? How do they care about what's going on at this moment in time? The environment is in a bad place, but everything else is fine. Uh, CCTV cameras? I mean, I feel like I should just... Cancel this policy? I feel like I should just cancel this policy since I don't believe in technology. And that is technology. Patriot and capitalists? Hmm. Capitalists do seem to be the problematic area at this moment in time. You would like me to implement free eye tests. Honestly, happy to do it. Very, very happy to do it. It's going to upset capitalists, but, I mean, it costs me a billion. It's basically free. Yeah. Sign me up. Okay, let's go to the next turn. That actually used up a good amount of political capital as well, because otherwise we were just going to go over our cap. Uh, Women's March. That's slightly irritating, because the membership of the, the liberal group was something that I was working quite hard on, on decreasing. But, yeah, there we go. Uh, right, what else have we got? The gig economy is... It's, it's thinking about developing, but thankfully it's not developed as of yet. Poverty is at an all-time low. It's nothing. Crime doesn't exist. Unemployment. Unemployment has had a, a, a weird route throughout the throughout the course of this game, or a weird route, as uh, as they may say in America. Um, it's still trending downwards. It's just not trending downwards as quickly as I would like. The GDP is back up, even though the cyber is is still ongoing. The cyber warfare. fine. I I mean, look, there's a problem with our trade secrets being stolen by foreign companies, which will affect our competitiveness abroad, and thus our GDP. No, 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 you misunderstand. We, we don't want, we don't, we don't use computers here. I mean, well, we may have a technological advantage, but I consider a technological advantage a scythe or, or something along those lines. I certainly do not consider, I, I do not consider a, a computer a, 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 a workable instrument. No siree. The water shortage is definitely going to end next turn, which is actually going to decrease the food price a lot. A lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah. Going to decrease it a whole bunch. Uh, it's also going to improve farmers' opinion. Not like farmers need much of an opinion to, to be increased, but that's completely fine. Very, very loyal. 
The farmers are indeed very, very loyal. Okay, 38 political capital. What do we want to do with this? Truthfully, I think that I want to crank up my... I think that I want to crank up my executive term length from three years. What's that? From Oh, from four years to five years. No, not the executive term length. This is not what I want to do. It's the... Executive term limit. That's it. That's what I want. Okay, give me give me that. Okay, slowly but surely starting to degrade democracy, but that's fine. Also, I haven't talked about the surplus, but our surplus did narrow quite considerably. Uh, yeah, so the, the difference between our income and our expenditure narrowed to only 57 billion, which doesn't seem like a lot. But no, which seems like a lot, but it actually isn't. Threat assessment still says that we're fine. Still, still totally fine. How many turns away are we from the election? Two turns away from the election. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Eh, hey, what do you know? Pollution and water shortage both end, which is wonderful. GDP is continuing to increase, even though we've got cyber warfare just occurring in the background. Please, just use a pen and paper. Use a pen and paper. Don't use a computer. Don't use a computer. Don't even worry about it. Maybe if we improve our foreign relations, we can just beg other countries not to cyber attack us. That's <laughs> that's probably our best, probably our best, our best plan at this stage. Uh, environmental protests, I doubt that they're going to end anytime soon. The environment did improve for a turn, but unfortunately, unfortunately not, uh, not substantially enough. Let's go into the transport policy. What do we need? There was banning cars, banning low MPG cars, and also banning cars from cities. Yeah, let's ban the low MPG cars on this turn. And then... Let's ban cars from cities next turn, or the turn after, or at some point in the future. That just seems reasonable. Okay, what do we got? A merger? I'm going to block the merger, just because I can, to be honest. Trade unionists? I think trade unionists kind of like me, to be honest. Uh, no, they don't. They don't actually like me. I thought they did. Maybe they did. Apparently they don't. I don't care. Doesn't matter. Religious people? Oh, look at this. 100% of the population, literally this turn religious that is excellent that is very very good farmers uh we are super close we're super close to making 100 percent of the population farmers we're very 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 close how crazy is that uh yeah. oh ooh, ooh, ooh. yikes uh i haven't increased human development as much as i said i was going to the target is rather high though the target is rather high uh, I hope, video game, you can forgive me. Unfortunately, I don't have any political capital to make any more pledges. So therefore, the anti techno tato party has go is going to have to go into the election wholly unprepared. But that's fine. I think I'm still going to win. Oh, yes, I, I win. I would expect nothing less. Oh, that is brilliant. 95% of the vote. 242 million votes. That ain't too shabby. Self-employed liberal motorists. Self-employed liberal motorists, those those are the people that hate me the most. And even those people I, I end up getting more than more than 50% of the vote from anyway. That's pretty good. Health is at a max. That's that's excellent. That is really, really, really good. Lifespan, eh, it's looking good. Very, very nice. Racial tension, that's eh, not not good at all. Not good at all. The water industry now doesn't exist because I bought it all. <laughs> which is fine. Tobacco usage shouldn't exist or should be decreasing, etc, etc, etc. I don't actually think that there's anything uniquely interesting about that election, uh, other than... Oh, baking gay cakes? Ah. That's right. That's right. That is a very, very, very conscious decision there to appease religious people, because now, as I've already said, religious people make up 100% of the population, which is pretty darn good. Now, farmers were, what, 94%? 94 point something percent of the population last time, and now they're 94% of the population this time. Plant-based diets. I want to decrease the price of food, because that will, in turn, lower the number of people that are on plant-based diets. I think also we're going to scrap this junk food tax, which is going to decrease health, but is going to stop is going to stop the spread uh, of plant-based diets. So that is actually quite important. We do have 79 billion to play around with here, but I suspect that that'll probably be enough to 
to, to get us what we want. Right, now that everyone is religious, now that everyone is religious, what can we do? What should we implement? Robotics research grants? No, on the contrary. On the contrary. On the contrary, I would like to... Recreational drugs tax? I mean, maybe, but also not really. I don't really think that there's anything... I don't really think that there's anything that a Luddite would like to see here. Adult education subsidies. Honestly, this is this is this is a good idea. Let's let's implement this. Four billion for that. Sure, whatever. I'll I'll happily pay that. National Armed Forces Week. Telecommuting and carpooling. No, I don't really think that there's anything here. I mean, maybe banning homosexuality is something that we want to do. Um, it decreases religious membership. Oh, this is at 50%, though. I think it'll increase religious membership at, at a higher percentage. Okay, what do you want? You want youth club subsidies. Yeah, I'm happy to happy to implement youth club subsidies, to be honest. It's fine. We'll max that out. It's great. If it makes people happy, then then why the heck not, right? Uh, cyber warfare is slowly but surely decreasing, hopefully because my technology is decreasing. How do we still have a technological advantage? Can somebody please explain this to me? I, I don't actually understand. Productivity has increased a little bit because I introduced adult education subsidies. It's going to continue to increase a little bit. That is completely, completely, completely fine. So even though capitalists really, really despise me, even though capitalists completely despise me, most of them are farmers and therefore they don't despise me, right? 96.1%. 96.1% of the population. We are very, very, very close. Very, very, very close. Multicultural warriors. That is ethnic minority, right? That is that is absolutely that is absolutely a problem. And okay, 89% of the population. And their current opinion of me is quite unhappy. Right, this is something that we need to that we need to try and fix, clearly. Racial tension is very, very high. Hmm. Faith school subsidies? Oh, I completely... I completely... I talked about this. I talked about this, and I I didn't introduce it. I don't know... I don't know how I... I don't know how I'd go about doing this, because racial tension is increased by high levels of immigration. Say, racial tension is actually increased by high levels of immigration, as you can see right here. So, I mean, on one hand, we need to decrease immigration, because that is the main, the main cause of racial tension. But at the same time, if we limit immigration through border control, then we end up upsetting ethnic minorities even more, which is the original crux of our problem. So... To be honest, it might be it might be a two-pronged approach. It might be, hey, let's fix up foreign aid. Right? Let's fix up foreign aid. Good. And then citizenship tests. Let's see if we can scale this up a little bit. And then we'll also scale up border controls next turn to just try and reduce immigration as much as we possibly can. It's not a good solution. It's absolutely not a good solution. Okay, GDP way, 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 way up thanks to our high productivity. Uh, thankfully, it got above the start trigger momentarily there. I, I don't know why, but it's probably going to decrease because the technological advantage is going to decrease. It's going to disappear at some point as soon as our technology disappears. I cannot believe that our technology colleges are sustaining the technological advantage. Let's cancel that right now. Uh, border controls. Let's increase this just a smidgen. Increase it just a little bit. There's a budget deficit? How? Oh, we're running a budget deficit because our because our GDP is still very, very low uh, on the last turn. There was a flash crash on the last turn. That's that's exactly why. Extradite the subject. Uh, appease the patriots. Patriots are a little bit less... I was going to say a little bit less happy than the liberals. But no, it looks like the liberals are a little bit less happy than the patriots. That's fine. Okay. 
Multicultural warriors still represent a significant issue. Environmental protests have ended, respiratory diseases ended. They'll probably be back with a vengeance next turn, I would imagine, now that our GDP has recovered. How is our GDP already up at new highs? I, I don't know. Unemployment is at new lows, which is very, very nice indeed. I have so few policies that actually are aimed at positive change that it's frankly shocking that we're doing this well. Okay. Border controls, maximum border controls. Let's do it. 21 political capital. It's a pretty expensive change, but that's fine. Let's increase pollution controls just a little bit. There we go. I know it's going to upset some people, but it's going to improve the environment. And I've talked a little bit about improving the environment over the course of this episode. It's something that we need to just focus more on, I think, going forward. Air travel is, is now having a negligible effect, which is good. Very, very good indeed. Very, very, very good indeed. Fine. Factory farming law. Leave law unchanged. The reason that we want to leave the law unchanged is because farmers are a very, very important voter group. Speaking of a very, very important voter group, almost 100% of the population. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. We're getting there. The Amish takeover is almost complete. Technological advantage has ended. Excellent. That's really, really good news. Cyber warfare has also ended. And ha my GDP is maxed out. First of all, it shouldn't be possible. It shouldn't be possible if I'm just not trying. Like, I'm, I'm just not, I'm not trying to max out GDP. I mean, I'm actively taking decisions to try and reduce GDP. I, I literally increased pollution controls last turn. <laughs> and yet here we are, maxing out GDP. Unemployment is, is super duper low, which is great. Another foreign neighbor nuclear test, which is fine. Technology backwater is is uh, is at a risk of uh, of developing to be honest completely fine with that completely completely fine with that technology is continuing to decrease honestly if this graph starts to go negative then that's when i know that i'm doing a good job what is the technology backwater gonna do i don't know frankly i i don't think that i've ever seen it uh I, it's really really easy to avoid but i guess we'll come across it in a couple of turns Anyway, 103 billion surplus is is nothing to sniff at. We've also managed to pay pay back over 2 trillion worth of debt, which is quite incredible. Maxing out GDP, sure we may be on the, you know, the the peak of the 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 global economic cycle, but I mean that shouldn't detract from how well we're doing. Uh I think the threat assessment is good. I mean our security effectiveness is dreadful, but frankly it doesn't matter. Let's get rid of the armed police, shall we? I want to cancel the policy. There's there's no point in doing it in half measures. How much political capital do we get per turn? 22 political capital per turn. I almost feel like I just want to take another turn right now then. Give me up to the maximum 44 political capital. All right. High productivity has ended because the, te the, the technology backwater has begun. That leads to a negative effect to GDP. Honestly, kind of want that. We kind of want a negative effect to our GDP. We want something to keep our GDP in check so that we have uh, a slightly better a slightly better environment. Obesity is definitely, definitely, definitely going to end. Uh, definitely going to end. It's definitely going to start. And there is nothing that I can do about it. It's irritating that that is the case. Car usage. I'm really trying to decrease car usage, but flipping heck, it's it's a challenge. Boy, oh boy, it is. Credit rating has been upgraded, which is excellent. It gives us yet more money. You want an enterprise investment scheme. It's all about you capitalists. You capitalists always want an enterprise investment scheme. Well, not on my watch. You ain't going to have it. You ain't going to have your flipping enterprise investment scheme. No siree. Hmm. Okay. I mean, what policy here? Synthetic meat research grants? Crazily enough, this would be a brilliant policy, apart from the fact that it decreases farmers' income, membership, and everything. Okay, you know what? I take it back. It's a bad policy. It's a very, very bad policy. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? I still think that rural development grants are, are good. Um, increasing GDP, increasing car usage is not good, but everything else would be good. Nothing else really in this in this tab that we want to pay particular attention to. In tax, an internet tax, an internet tax is definitely something that I want to decrease or I want to introduce and then immediately max the heck out of. 
don't think that I care about anything else here. Internet currency taxation? Yeah, that's another one. That's another one. Ban foreign church service? I mean, I, I want to introduce this. Sure, let's do it. Let's absolutely do it. Let's absolutely do it. All banned. That's right. That's right. All banned. Uh, what's the what's the happiness? What's the happiness looking like of the ethnic minority group? Not great. Membership is also looking very very high. The fact that it's only affected by immigration is kind of nonsense. In fact, dare I say, entirely nonsense. But eh, okay, that's yeah. What else? Stamp out racism week? I feel like that's completely reasonable. Yeah, let's go for that. It has a laughably small impact on uh, on racial tension, but there you go. What the heck? Have we got 100% of farmers yet? No, not quite yet. Not quite yet. We're working on it. We're working on it. Okay, GDP again? I have no idea where this positive GDP keeps coming from. I, I just don't understand it. Unemployment is down. Obesity has started uh, has started to increase again, which is which is a bit of a shame to be honest. Health is probably going to see a little bit of a downward trend, but we may have enough positive factors to keep us in the game. We still have a budget surplus of eighty nine billion. Also, the maximum credit rating like, that that is that is kind of crazy. Um, how do we fix the technology backwater? I mean, we don't we don't fix the technology backwater to be honest. We just we just leave it. We leave it. It's fine. It's it's not it's not the end of us. We can we can just about survive it. And in fact, we will survive it. Yep. Nothing here. Nothing here that I want to that I want to introduce at all. Close airports completely. Definitely do driverless car laws as well I, I want to i want to do that i did want to introduce an internet tax can i do that right now can't introduce an internet tax right now i can introduce a, a bitcoin tax which is exactly what i'm gonna do yeah currency uh, what is it currency adoption where is it it's in it's in tax there we go internet currency adoption it's pretty low it's it's pretty low what's the difference between them just appears twice for for some reason okay fine uh we don't need to we don't why is it that's got to be a bug right that's got to be a bug it shouldn't appear twice uh yeah we want to we want to make sure that we stamp out we stamp out any notion of the internet as quickly as we possibly can sign a trade agreement or refuse to sign it i'm going to refuse to sign it there we go. Okay, capitalists don't like it, but pretty much everyone else does. Ethnic minority opinion is is really, really bad. It's really, really bad because we introduced the foreign church service thing. Immigration is, is going to decrease. So actually, we might be able to solve this problem much quicker than I anticipated. Because when immigration reaches zero, I believe that that's just going to decrease ethnic minority membership, which frankly should not be... That should not be a linear a linear relationship, i.e. higher higher immigration, the higher ethnic minority membership. That that just shouldn't be the case. Um, it's just it's just not it's just not very well not very well thought through. I think. Threat assessment, invisible hand. Oh, is the invisible hand a capitalist group? It is a capitalist group. We need to be oh so careful. We need to be oh so careful about about upsetting capitalists now. It's okay though. They flip and love they flip and love GDP being this high, so we don't need to worry about it. Political relationship upgraded. Booyah. Okay, business confidence. Wow, we really have to fight for business confidence, eh? How's our stability looking? Our stability is maxed out. That ain't too shabby. Government debt is is actually decreasing. It's actually decreasing, so you know businesses can be more confident that that potato always pays his dues. The credit rating being downgraded pretty much cancels out the the positive impacts of the uh, of the political relationship being upgraded, but that's fine. 
GDP, a little bit of a tumble, but nothing crazy. Mostly due to the credit rating being downgraded. I think that we can learn to live with that, to be honest. Now, I think I should be able to introduce the internet tax on this occasion, right? Brilliant. Internet tax, max that out. It's going to decrease our GDP, but who cares? Uh, it's also going to bring in 55 billion worth of income, so that's actually quite important. It's going to exacerbate our issues being a technological backwater, but, I mean, frankly, who really cares? And if GDP was able to decrease just a little bit, then that would mean that obesity wouldn't be as bad as it is. Again, another weird relationship, but whatever. I'd like to, I'd like to fix that, please. Fishing quotas? I don't care. I don't care about fishing quotas. Farmers? Do they count as fisher people? I don't think they should. Right, we're still running a massive surplus, mostly because of our internet tax, which is kind of obscene. But hey ho, I'm a little bit worried that we're gonna that we're gonna develop a, a little bit of a a little bit of a brain drain or a little bit of a tax evasion situation. Dare I say it does worry me slightly. It perturbs, it perturbs me. It perturbs me. How is, how is this looking? Yeah, look at this, look at this. So ethnic minority membership is down from like 85% a couple of turns ago, down to 65%. Mostly because immigration just dropped off massively. Uh, there is a way that we can tweak it more. I mean, citizenship tests, citizenship tests can be maxed out as much as possible. Or alternatively, we could maybe introduce another policy. Multicultural warriors, though, I mean, membership of that is is increasing uh, a lot. Yeah, uh, that's worrying. That's that's very very worrying. Also, I don't think that there's anything else that I can do to change immigration, except maybe for this policy. Do I seriously want to? Okay, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm actually going to do it. All right, GDP continues to fall. It's a good thing. It's a good thing. Enterprise investment scheme. Not a chance in heck, dude. Yeah, there is a plot on the on the, uh, on the the horizon. That's completely fine. That's completely fine. How's membership looking? It's looking better. It's looking better. It's still looking, it's still looking high, but that's, that's completely fine. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to introduce... I'm going to introduce a border wall. Yeah. I'm going to do it. It's going to cost me 44 billion a quarter. I've got to confess, I feel like it probably shouldn't be that expensive. I mean, there's a massive initial outlay to build it, but after that, surely it can't cost 44 billion a quarter to maintain. Surely not. Surely not. Uh, with two political capital, what do we want to do? Nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. You know what? Maybe we'll introduce carpooling. It's actually going to decrease car usage. I don't like to acknowledge the fact that technology exists. Controversial march? Ah, eh, ban it. I don't like to acknowledge the fact that uh, that cars exist, but now that we've got them, we might as well we might as well try and limit the use of them as much as we possibly can. You know, for the good of the environment, for the good of, for the good of technology, the environment's in a really, really good place. Okay, the fact that GDP has decreased, it's a real opportunity, a real, real opportunity. Now, bear in mind, by the way, that there is a plot. There is a plot. Thank you very much for the advice. There is a plot, and therefore that might result in our destruction. However, however, I'm I'm optimistic. Right? How how are things? Okay, look at this. This is this is this is making a big old a big old impact. How long does it take? It takes 16 turns to implement this. This might uh, this this might this might culminate in my death. <laughs> um, yeah, 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 yeah. Not exactly over the moon about that. You know what? Let's just go to the next turn. I don't think there's anything that I want to cancel. I don't think there's anything that I want to introduce. I tell you what, maybe there is a security policy that I could introduce. Press freedom, for example, we could crank up to the max. We could crank up to the max. Apparently, that improves my security effectiveness. Wiretapping, no mandatory microchip. Detention without trial, that's okay. ID cards, eh. 
Curfews, eh. Police drones, no. Tasers, no. We've already got rid of those. Secret courts. I mean, can I introduce secret courts? No. I, I wish I could. But unfortunately, I can't. Police drones, we could definitely introduce. However, I, I don't believe... I don't believe in police drones. I don't believe in police drones even slightly. Not even one bit of me believes in police drones. How's our deficit looking? Our deficit is looking... Our deficit is looking fine. Uh, it's very, very reasonable. Very, very, very reasonable, given the circumstances. Ooh. That really upsets liberal... Really? All right, you know what? Let's just leave it... Leave it here as... At, at the moment. I think... I think we could be assassinated. It's... It's happening. Yeah, 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 yeah. I... I... I, I don't want to do... I don't want to do... I don't want to anger ethnic minorities anymore. I, I've really... I've not touched anything. I mean, foreign aid, we, we've increased to the absolute max. Military spending... Uh, it doesn't actually matter. 42 political capital. Foreign investment restrictions... I don't think... I don't think that there's anything else that we could reasonably do at this moment in time. Not that we'd end up increasing liberal membership, that's for sure. You know, farmers love me. Religious people love me. This is what matters. This is what matters the most. We still haven't cancelled the space program. We can't claim to be an Amish farmer state if we have a space program. Executive term limit. Let's crank it up to five. There we go. And then the next time we crank it up, it's going to be... It's going to be maxed. Okay, this could be my last turn. This could be my last turn. There's still a plot. There's still... There's still a plot. Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. It's it's a big old... It's a big old plot. How's, how's membership looking? It's looking... It's looking good. Membership is looking... Very, very low. The, the, the immigration stats are telling me... Are telling me good things. Membership... Uh, of the ethnic minority group is very, very low. And uh, immigration is continuing to decrease. Which is... Which is positive. Very, very positive indeed. Gender transition. Cancel that policy. Absolutely. <sighs> gay marriage. We can't do anything about gay marriage until... Until, uh... Until a little while. One of your major party donors has an idea about a policy. Free bus passes? Uh, sure. To be honest, I, I don't think I'm that bothered about it. Yeah, we can fund free bus passes. What the heck? I don't care. It's only a 61 billion deficit that we've got at this moment in time. Look at this. This is exactly what I worry what was worried about earlier. Um, so... Because our economy has got so little going for it, like, we literally have nothing. Like, our economy is just trash. Uh, it's just absolutely, absolutely awful. I mean, almost everything, almost everything that we've done has decreased GDP in some way, indirectly or directly. Anyway, the point that I was, the point that I was making is that now that the global economy is on the way down, there's nothing to prop up our, uh, to prop up our economy, and therefore it's going to continually shrink. But that's fine. That's completely fine. The technology backwater certainly doesn't help. We've maxed that out as well, which is embarrassing, frankly. But that's okay. That is okay. We've, uh, we paid off a lot of debt, so we're going to accumulate a lot of debt during the, uh, during the trough of the cycle. Obesity, that's coming down too. Okay. Membership? Decreasing. Decreasing by, you know... Five or six percent each and every turn. Immigration is really, really, really low. And continuing to decrease. Right, I'm going to reshuffle. I'm going to reshuffle you out of my cabinet, you jerk. You total, total jerk. Yeah, so you can probably go as well. Religious motorist. Motorists, I, I understand why they despise me so much. I understand why they despise me so much. I, I've worked hard to decrease the membership of the population. Okay. Uh, reshuffle. It's pro to be honest, it's probably just worth firing you and firing you. Sure, what the heck. It makes other people unhappy, but I mean, that's fine. Self-employed and capitalist. Socialist, trade unionist. Oh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Really? 
environmentalist, trade unionist. I guess I can get you. Liberal. I'm not picking. I'm not picking any. Liberal. Farmer. Liberal. I might pick. I might pick you back up. I know you used to be on the team, but. Yeah, fine. I. I kind of hate that, to be honest, but, I mean, we have such a limited pool. We have such a limited pool of, of people to draw from. Diversity quotas from... for companies. <gasps> I think this is what we need. I think this is absolutely what we need. You know what? Let's do it. Let's absolutely do this. I think this is a great policy. It, it upsets capitalists, but, you know, frankly, capitalists are another problem that I need to solve. The invisible hand has reduced the threat assessment. Threat assessment of everything is going down. Angels of Heavenly Justice has got 400 members. What? Excuse me? Why on earth? Why on earth did... Did this happen? What? I have done, like... Absolutely everything that I possibly can. Oh, it was because Kirsten Gray was fired. Ah, whatever. 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 Get over it. Get over it. It was an unceremonial firing, but look, that's fine. Okay, sign the treaty. Whatever. It doesn't particularly make uh, any difference. The threat assessment is going to be is going to be pretty unique next turn. It's going to be pretty darn unique. There's still a plot that's ongoing, uh, and I'm still worried about it. GDP is continuing to fall. Yeah, it's, it's in a bad place at this moment in time. Fine. Teacher shortage is, is going to develop as well. Immigration is literally not a thing anymore. Ethnic minority membership is almost not a thing anymore either, which, which, you know, in terms of threat assessment is good. Although, actually, in terms of threat assessment, it doesn't actually matter anymore. It doesn't actually matter at all. Okay, I think that what we'll do is we will we will fight this election. We will fight this election in the next episode. It is indeed the last turn. We've got 35 out of a maximum of 38 political capital. I've actually managed to decrease my political capital cap, but frankly, we can survive. We can survive with that. That's not a problem. Uh, liberal opinion is, is a bit of a bummer. I, I did talk about wanting to decrease the membership of a liberal group. I did introduce, what did I do? I did stamp out racism week. That actually increases liberal membership, but you know what? We'll, we'll faff around with that at some point in the future. Ladies and gents, the Amish takeover continues. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Democracy 4. Thanks also to Banana Nanana and C Senpai for being the two $25 plus tier patrons. And thank you just to everyone over on the, the Patreon page who helped make videos like this possible. I'll see you next time, folks. Bye.